Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. My name is Savannah Playford, the Director of Youth Ministry at Dixon United Methodist Church. Whenever you are watching this, welcome to today's daily devotion. As the school year comes to a close, it is a time of transition for a lot of young people. Many people are going up to the next grade or going on to their next set of classes, and some are in the transitional time where they're done with school and now need to start a new job. And for others of us, it's just a new season, but we must keep pushing on. Regardless, young people go through a lot of changes, and I know that us young people can use some encouragement. So here's a Bible verse for you guys today that comes from 1 Timothy 4, 12 through 16, and it says this. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. Instead, set an example for the believers through your speech, behavior, love, faith, and by being sexually pure. Until I arrive, pay attention to the public reading, preaching, and teaching. Don't neglect the spiritual gift in you that was given through prophecy when the elders laid hands on you. Practice these things and live by them so that your progress will be visible to all. Focus on working on your own development and on what you teach. If you do this, you will save yourself and those who hear you. You see, for those of you who don't know, Timothy was a really young pastor in his day. And you know what that means. That means that a lot of older people or people in the generations above him oftentimes were probably looking down on him, giving him some advice, telling him how he could be better, do this, do that. I mean, you know how it goes. Since the beginning of time, there has been a tendency for older generations to look down on us younger generations. You know what I mean. We'll say, oh, we do this, this thing that's really cool. And then we hear, well, back in my day, that's not what we did. We did blank, which is great, but we're not back in the old day anymore. Or that's really what you want to do. Are you sure you're so young, which is true, but we have the strongest resources and the greatest ideas. Age is just a number for many of us. So anyway, here in 1 Timothy, it provides an important perspective of Paul's upcoming instructions. After giving Timothy details on how to choose future church leaders, the proper conduct of the church members, the chapter is really focused on Timothy and his spiritual choices. So here is where I can give you guys some encouragement. Young people, we should be an example set in our speech and in our actions. These things need to be used often. Why? Because they're a gift and they need to be used well. Just because we're young doesn't mean we can't change the world. And on top of that, we need to use these gifts and use them often, like Timothy says here in these verses. Why? Well, think of it this way. If an athlete has all of these great, really awesome abilities, strong muscles, strength, everything, and then they stop working out, what happens? Over time, their muscles begin to deteriorate and pretty soon they won't be as great as they were once before. So it's the same thing for us with our spiritual gifts. Our talents are improved by telling peers and maybe even older generations what we're capable of. And with doing all of these things, if we practice them and we live by them, our progress will be visible to everybody around us. Now to you older people who are watching this video, I highly encourage that you go out and you give some encouragement to a young person that you know. And for you younger people, I want you to practice patience with the older generations and continue to do the good things and the goodwill that you are doing.